G'day guys, today we're at the Qantas Freight Terminal picking up some more little babies. Now if you're curious to find out what's inside the box, stick around, we're going to show you in just a minute. G'day guys and welcome back to Cookies Critters. If you are new to the channel, please do me a favour, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications. Now today's video is an unboxing, but before we do get into that, I do want to give a massive shout out to Kyle from KC Critters for sending us these beautiful animals today. As I do unveil these animals, I will explain the phenotype and the heterozygous gene so that way you can understand the excitement and the direction that we're taking here with this particular breeding project. So guys, without any further ado, let's have a look. So here we have it guys, we have a breeding pair of Taliqua skin coides, so blue tongue skink. Now, if you are familiar with your blue tongues, you'll also notice that it does have a wild phenotype. So what that, what that means is visually, it looks like a wild blue tongue skink. Now, why we're excited about this breeding pair is it's recessive genes, it's heterozygous genes. Now, both animals are 100% double het for larva, and I'm gonna put a little picture up here of what a larva looks like, so that way you can imagine it in your own mind's eye. Now, a quick history on that is the, uh, the larva was created about four or five years ago by Joe Ball, and it's a combination of the hypermelanistic, so the black blue tongue skink, and the T-negative albino gene. So mixing the black with the albino really brings out the orange uh, and the reds in the albino, making it look like it's on fire. So very fitting, the name Lava. So uh, guys, cannot wait to kick this off. Super excited. I will be uh, posting updates as we go along. Now, because we are going from a, a het to het pairing, the, uh, the chance of hitting that double visual is a one in 16. Now, you know, these guys here might put out a litter of about, you know, five to 12, five to 16 babies. So the odds are pretty low, but fingers crossed, the rest of the litter will be one in four for hypermelanistic or one in four for the T negative albino, uh, along with the combination of the 66 POS heads for the, uh, for the alternate gene. But uh, either way, I can't wait to get started. Uh, look forward to producing some beautiful babies from these guys and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you in the future. So that's it guys. If you did enjoy today's video, please do me a favor, hit that like button. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss a coming video. As always guys, if you've got them, keep your beard treated and your blueies heated. <laughs>